A tragic discovery in Woodland Hills. Family members find the body of an 81-year-old woman partially burned inside her ransacked home. Homicide investigators are trying to determine what led to the victim's death. KTLA 5 Sandra Mitchell is live in Woodland Hills with the latest. Sandra. Uh, Pedro and Sam, they're also trying to figure out who did this and exactly how the victim died. It happened at this home uh, just behind us here at the end of the cul-de-sac. They tell us that the victim was burned, but investigators really not sure if that was a way to kill the victim or try and cover up evidence. At the end of the cul-de-sac, yellow crime scene tape marks a murder scene. Yes, very scared. We never had such a situation like this before. Now, LAPD says it is very possible an 81-year-old woman found dead, burned inside her home, was targeted by a transient. We have gotten increasing complaints of transient activity in the Woodland Hills area. Uh, it seems like all the neighbors have complained that they've seen rising homeless activity. Today, the family of Oak Ja Kim returned to the scene, informing investigators about items missing from the house. Detectives believe the deadly attack started as a home invasion. There was evidence of ransacking in the home, um, you know, typical drawers being open, cabinets and things like that, evidence of possibly some, some uh, some valuables being missing from the home. The victim lived alone in this one-story home near Burbank and DeSoto Avenues. Last night, just after 7.30, a family member found her dead in her bedroom. Gus Seitzer just moved to the street from Nebraska a few weeks ago and says after this, he's ready to add security devices at his new home. He put up some cameras and stuff just as like an extra measure of just trying to deter people. There is a doorbell camera at the victim's house and cameras at other homes here on Martha's street. This morning, just the police came and checked our uh, um, cameras. They couldn't find anything. There are few clues and right now, no suspects. I'm really asking for the public's help on this one because that might be the only way we're going to solve this. Hey, Sandra, you said it, no suspects, but at this point, is there any description we can give the public? Yeah, not really, Pedro. Investigators tell us they are uh, studying security camera video from neighbors here on Martha Street, but they don't have a good description. In fact, they tell us this might even involve more than one attacker.